How's everybody doing today? So here I am in Nashville, Tennessee. Back in Nashville. I love this city. It's about my, I used to come a lot as a kid. Now I've come twice in the past like six or seven months. I love this, love this city. I did a lot of videos from Nashville last time and I did Johnny Cash's grave, which is up in Hendersonville. But I wanted to come to this cemetery, which is called Woodlawn Memorial Park, and there are so many country singers, so many famous people buried here, it's almost overwhelming. And the property is huge. It's ex it is, it goes on and on. The people here that work here are so nice and so accommodating and so sweet. I just want to say thank you to them because just every every turn I, I I just gave a did a little walk around first of a smaller area and everybody's so helpful and so nice really sweet so right behind me is one of the mausoleums on the property Tammy Wynette is interred here and a few other people I'm gonna take you inside right now and then we're gonna come outside and see some more okay let's go inside right now Now, if you're standing by Tammy Wynette's grave. Now, if you're facing Tammy Wynette, you just turn to your right. And here's Lynn Anderson. Right here. I never promised you a rose garden. I love that song. And here she is. Lynn Anderson was one of the most famous country singers from the 60s, 70s, 80s. Her biggest hit was Rose Garden, which was a crossover radio hit. She's also the first female country star to appear on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. So there's Tammy Wynette. And right here is a famous singer and actor, Jerry Reed. wife, Priscilla. And you may not recognize the name right away, but the hits that he wrote for Jerry Lee Lewis and Elvis and many others, songs like Great Balls of Fire, Return to Sender, All Shook Up, and don't be cruel, Otis Blackwell, 
Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. All right down this hallway, Tammy Wynette's right at the end there on the right. And then you just keep walking up the hallway and down each little turn, each little alcove, there's somebody famous. Little Jimmy Dickens here. Little Jimmy Dickens was a huge country star. He wrote a lot of hits, novelty songs, and he was close friends with George Jones and Brad Paisley. Those rhinestone outfits that you see country stars wear on stage, he basically invented that. And then right above little Jimmy Dickens, are the parents of Lily Tomlin. Nine to five, laughing, right here. And so same hallway where I am with little Jimmy Dickens and Lily Tomlin's parents is Dottie Rambo, Reba Dottie Rambo, wow. Dottie was an American gospel singer, Grammy winner. She formed the Southern gospel rock band, the Rambos, and she wrote over 2,500 songs. Grand Dot, that's so adorable. So there are so many celebrities buried here on the property and it's, it's huge outside. I'm not gonna cover them all. I do, um, I'm gonna go to a few that I want to see. There's a gentleman that does videos like this called Witdoc's Famous Graves, I believe is his channel name. And he did this uh, cemetery and he covered every single person buried here. Check out his video as well. All right, let's keep going. Shout out to Witdoc's. And right outside of the uh, mausoleum, in the main entrance, right there. I showed you where Lynn Anderson is resting and there's a rose garden dedicated to her right here. The Lynn Anderson Rose Garden. So Tammy Wynette was married to George Jones one of the most famous country singers of all time. And he has a huge, huge plot here at Woodlawn. I'm gonna take and show it. Now, I believe he owns the entire plot and some of his friends, family are going to be buried here and some of his friends and family and bandmates currently are. I'm gonna show you one of them that I know somewhat well. George Jones has an album called Love Bug which is one of my favorite albums to drive to. And I guess uh, it may sound weird, like, I mean, if you watch my channel, I'm really into, you know, hip hop and rap and electronica, I but I also love country music so much. I do, especially old country. And Love Bug, the album, Love Bug, the song, oh my, it's just so much fun to drive to. And I highly recommend it. Let's check out George Jones right here. This is really big. So there is a funeral going on up the hill, so I'm going to be going inside. This, but this black fence here is all George Jones right here. He owns this whole plot in the cemetery.
So here we are, the grave site of George Jones. I'm gonna read you what it says here. He was known as the possum. There we go. George Glenn Jones was and is the king of broken hearts. He sang of life's hardships and struggles in a way that somehow lightened our own. His voice was effortless and unforgettable. He brought unsurpassed emotional eloquence to every song he sang. He was and is the soul of country music. No one will ever fill his shoes. He is at rest, but his music is alive and ageless. He gifted it to all of us, to the joyful and broken. Walk through this world with me, he sang, and we do. It's the name of one of his biggest hits right there. And he's buried right here. come out here if you go right from the main entrance off the street you look to your right you're gonna see this big black fencing area and this is George Jones property well a plot here and he's at the uh, well you'll see on your right you'd be at the I'm not sure what direction I'm facing actually I'm sorry you'll just see the black fence if you come inside it's not you won't miss it and they ask you if you go inside to sign a guest book that goes directly to his family. His family comes and replaces it. And you put your address in and everything, and yeah, they like to see who comes from how far away. It's really sweet. Now, there's another gentleman buried here alongside George uh, Jones and Johnny Paycheck, who's a famous country singer as well, and was a backup singer for George Jones for a long time. And then he went out on his own, and one of his biggest songs was Take This Job and Shove It, which I used to sing when I was a kid. I don't, I don't think I knew what I was singing. I don't think I knew what it meant, but I loved it. Johnny Paycheck, right there. So if you're walking here in the middle of the George Jones section, you can see right there, George, Johnny Paycheck, and so many other, I guess it's friends and family. US National Songwriter of the Year, International Songwriter of the Year. Wow, Jerry Chestnut. Songwriter Billy Sherrill. All right, so I'm going to leave George Jones' area now, but I'm going to go see the grave of a man who sang one of my favorite songs ever. Now, he didn't write the song, Mentor Williams wrote the song, and then John Kurtz performed the first version of the song. I believe his name is John Kurtz. But I love this song so much. And this man that I'm going to see was a talented singer, actor. His biggest hit for, well, his biggest hit is the one that's my favorite song, but he was known for a song called The In Crowd, which was a huge hit. But his other song is just one of my favorite songs. I think everybody loves this song. You put it on, it's just, you just drift away. George Jones, rest in peace. past this little area where it looks like they have like um, memorials either that are going to go towards people's uh, to people's graves or maybe they're being repaired and I, that caught my eye this dog Is that young man there that really caught my eye right there the dog 
Anytime I see a dog statue beside a grave, I'm, I always stop and I'm instantly touched because it's just dogs are a person's best friend. It's so true. And when I'm far from home, I miss my dog. And here we go. This is Jimmy Dickens. So many people here. Like Webb Pierce, famous singer. He's got some great songs, Webb Pierce. There's Jerry Reed there. Johnny Paycheck. There's George Jones. Jimmy Dickens. Johnny uh, Paycheck. I said Marty Robbins. And then right there is Dobie Gray. And if you didn't catch my hint when I said drift away, that's who I'm going to see is Dobie Gray. Because Drift Away is one of my favorite songs ever. And he made it famous. He didn't write the song, like I said, but he recorded the definitive version. Let's go check out Dobie Gray. So I should mention that uh, two of Roy Orbison's sons and his ex-wife Claudette are buried here on the property. Now Roy Orbison himself is not here. He's actually at Pierce Brothers in Los Angeles. I've done a video about uh, that cemetery before. He's buried in an unmarked grave there. And I show it on one of my videos about Pierce Brothers where Marilyn Monroe is as well. I'll put a link to that video below. But right now I'm here to find Dobie Gray and it's uh, huge, this area. It's well marked, everything, but this area is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But we're gonna find Dobie Gray together. You're right here with me, let's go. It's never that easy. Whew. But I'm, I made it to Dobie Gray's resting spot. It's never easy. It's a lot of walking around, but I made it. I'm gonna read you what it says here on his headstone. This is Dobie Gray and there's a photo of him there. Lawrence D. Brown, sunrise July 26, 1940, sunset December 6, 2011. A beloved son, brother, uncle, and friend to your loving family and to all the friends and fans you have touched both in your personal life and around the world. Your love, legacy, and music will live on in our hearts forever. Want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away? We love you, Dobie. So you're gonna look for the section called Everlasting Life. As soon as you see it, stop. Look for this huge tree right here. And Dobie is right here. All right, rest in peace, Tammy Wynette, Dobie Gray, George Jones, Johnny Paycheck, Lily Tomlin's parents, Dottie Rambo, I, I've lost count of how many cele uh, celebrities in, that I've seen today here at this cemetery. Rest in peace to all of them. Uh, I highly recommend if you're in Nashville to come out to this cemetery. Pay your respects and if you can, I hope you're able to do so through my video. Love you all, peace to you all. Have a great day, peace.